This is E.T. A meme. It's a video, picture, words spread by terrestrial media like radio and TV, and in particular by the Internet, played countless times and often juxtaposed with something that exaggerates humor or stupidity, nastiness of those seen or discussed, and often they have devastating effects, in particular for people operating under the public eye. Example one, former U.S. Senator and presidential aspirant Ed Muskie of Maine. Two weeks prior to the 1972 Democratic primary election in Maine, Muskie was televised weeping on the steps of a newspaper building. You'll see it here. Attacking me, attacking my rights, he's proved himself to be a gutless coward. The result of that? Muskie's candidacy was effectively dead. Example 2. Former Vermont Governor Howard Dean. On January 19 of 2004, Dean delivered an exuberant yell known as the Dean Scream. This is while he's campaigning in Iowa for his party's presidential nomination. Take a look. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House! All Dean was doing was reassuring his supporters that, despite a primary loss to John Kerry, his campaign was far from over. The result? His campaign was over. Question. Is it wise to take memes all that seriously? Ed Muskie, you saw him supposedly crying in that snowstorm while on the steps of the new leader newspaper building. He was in my opinion, justifiably upset at a fake pamphlet. It was called the Canuck Letter, purportedly written by Muskie, considered unflattering to Americans of French-Canadian ancestry, and it had been published by the Manchester New Leader newspaper. In fact, Muskie looked to be wiping snow from his face and not crying. And that's something Muskie maintained each time the subject arose, which it did, well, way too many times. And Governor Dean's enthusiastic whoop, the Dean scream? Well, E.T. heard it the first time, as did many others. It did not draw much attention until it went viral on radio and television. Then it took on a, a flavor of madness, somewhat akin to that of Dracula's Renfield. Memes do not offer much in the way of enlightening Americans regarding a politician's policies or even character. Yet we the people, or at least some of we, are too often showing a thumbs down to those politicians based solely on the many times repeated memes and without consideration of how they might behave in office. Now, that's not a good thing for a country that defines itself as a democratic republic. At least that's what E.T. thinks. How about you? Type in comments below, share these videos on social media, tap the bell icon to be notified of new uploads, and give it a thumbs up.